Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a topic within the greater wizarding world. That's right, I'm excited to say that today's video is another theory regarding the recently released second trailer for the upcoming film Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore. After a long wait and a bit of a delay, the second official trailer for The Secrets of Dumbledore was released last week and there is just so much to go over. With that in mind, before we get started on today's video, if you have yet to watch the new trailer, let me stop you right there. Go check it out now. I would also encourage you to watch a few of my other videos that break down the new trailer to give you a bit more insight on what we may expect from the upcoming film, including my Secrets of Dumbledore Trailer 2 breakdown, 5 theories from the Secrets of Dumbledore Trailer 2, and rare unseen extra footage from the Secrets of Dumbledore trailer. Okay, now that that's taken care of, let's move on to today's topic. Could Credence's Phoenix actually be Forks? For those of you who may not know or have possibly forgotten, Forks is the Phoenix who was Albus Dumbledore's most trusted animal companion, present throughout much of the Harry Potter series. He lived in the headmaster's office at Hogwarts and was often seen by Harry whenever he would go speak with Dumbledore. Of course, Harry also encountered Forks on several occasions in which this magical creature was responsible for saving Harry's life. This was due to Harry's unwavering loyalty to Dumbledore. And as phoenixes are incredibly loyal animals themselves, Forks would come to Harry's aid, just as he would come to Dumbledore's. Forks was faithful to Dumbledore. Harry was faithful to Dumbledore. Therefore, Forks was faithful to Harry. We first see this in action in the Chamber of Secrets when Forks rescues Harry from Salazar Slytherin's Basilisk. Not only does he attack the giant serpent in an effort to help save Harry, he also delivers the very items that the boy needs in order to defeat the Basilisk. The Sorting Hat, which reveals the Sword of Gryffindor. Once Harry uses the sword to kill the Basilisk, Forks also provides him with Tom Riddle's old diary, so that Harry can destroy it with one of the snake's fangs. Forks then carries Harry, Ron, Ginny, and Professor Gilderoy Lockhart, the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher that year, out of the chamber and heals Harry's mortal wound, inflicted by the Basilisk with his tears. Later in the series, we see Forks come to Dumbledore and Harry's aid many times more, from healing Harry's wounded leg after the dreadful events of the Triwizard Tournament, to all the times he helped Albus escape certain death during duels at the Ministry of Magic. All this to say that Forks was an incredibly faithful pet. But what does any of that have to do with the secrets of Dumbledore and the new trailer? Well, as you may recall, in the second installment of the Fantastic Beast films, a small bird appears in front of Credence from amongst the wreckage after he loses the only lead he had as to who his birth parents were. As the movie progresses, the bird continues to be by Credence's side. It is a small, nondescript bird and I'd wager that most of you didn't really give it much thought as you watched the film. However, by the end of The Crimes of Grindelwald, we witness Grindelwald giving Credence a great speech in an effort to convince him that he's made the right choice in siding with Gellert and his acolytes. At last, someone is offering an explanation as to who Credence is, and it has everything to do with the bird who has yet to leave his side since it found him. There is a legend in your family that a phoenix will come to any member who is in dire need. It is your birthright, my boy, as is the name I now restore to you, Aurelius, Aurelius Dumbledore. Grindelwald gives this speech as the small creature bursts into flames, transforming into the at once recognizable adult form of a phoenix. And so, it's no surprise that this phoenix is present throughout a number of scenes in the first and second trailers that have been released ahead of the latest film. True, the phoenix only shows up once in the first trailer, but it flies in and out of multiple scenes in the newest preview. Most notably, we see the magical bird fly overhead of Credence in some dark and gloomy location, and then again in the middle of a street, presumably right before Credence comes face to face with his alleged brother, Albus Dumbledore. Now, the very fact that a phoenix has come to Credence's side in a time of need suggests that he truly is a descendant of the Dumbledore family. However, the final trailer scene that the bird shows up in brings up several troubling questions, at least to me. The scene I'm referring to is when we see the phoenix fly in front of, not Credence, but Albus. 
and this visual is paired with a warning from Dumbledore as we hear the words, things are not quite what they appear. So what could this mean exactly? Well, as you may have guessed from the title of this video, my foremost theory on this is that the Phoenix is in fact Forks. Could it be that, despite coming to Credence when he was in need of guidance during the second film, that he changes his allegiances to offer Albus protection? Or perhaps, rather than changing loyalties, he simply expands his guardianship to include another member of the Dumbledore family? In my opinion, this theory would only work if Dumbledore is set to duel Grindelwald in this scene, not Credence. Of course, the way the scene is set up, I think we're meant to believe that Albus is only dueling Credence, but it's possible that the Phoenix shows up to help Albus in a separate fight, aside from the one in which he's clearly having with Credence out in the streets. In any case, if this Phoenix is indeed Forks, that would mean that Credence is one of three things. Not a Dumbledore, and therefore the bird's true loyalty lies with Albus, a Dumbledore who proves himself unworthy of a Phoenix's protection, or a wizard who dies, leaving Albus as the only Dumbledore which Forks has pledged his allegiance to. Now, if none of that turns out to be true, here is one other theory that has crossed my mind. What if the Phoenix is an illusion or spell that Grindelwald has cast in order to convince Credence that he is a descendant of the Dumbledore family? To me, this would be the most likely explanation if it turns out that Credence is not a Dumbledore after all, but simply Credence Barebone. After all, there are many who remain skeptical that Credence is in fact a Dumbledore. In any case, if the Phoenix is not a Phoenix at all, it would make sense that Grindelwald chose a creature whose existence is founded on fire, aside from the whole Dumbledore connection, of course. That is, Phoenix birds are said to be immortal, and will go through life cycles which end in bursts of flame, only to be reborn in the ashes. This event is called a burning day. In fact, Harry first met Fawkes on one of his burning days, and was quite taken aback by the scene in front of him, before Dumbledore explained to him what had happened and how it was all very natural for a phoenix. But I digress. The fact is, phoenix birds are involved in fire magic of a sort, and, as we've seen throughout the Fantastic Beasts, Grindelwald seems to be a fan of elemental fire magic. Most obviously, you'll recall his ring of Protego Diabolica, one of, if not the most powerful fire spell in the wizarding world. Grindelwald cast this spell at the end of the Crimes of Grindelwald, using it to invite wizards to join his cause. Those who dared to cross the flames with ill intent or a lack of loyalty were instantly vaporized by the powerful dark ring of fire. Now, in the trailer for The Secrets of Dumbledore, we see Albus and Gellert sitting in what looks to be an abandoned restaurant, as Grindelwald threatens to burn down the world, and the whole scene erupts into flames. I think the argument for the Phoenix being a trick is further supported by the fact that in that final scene of The Crimes of Grindelwald, in which Gellert presents the Phoenix to Credence as a piece of evidence to his history, the Phoenix bursts into flames to become a mature version of the bird. I may be incorrect, but from my understanding, the Phoenix only catches fire on a burning day, when it is being reborn, not when it is maturing into a full-fledged Phoenix. So, for this particular bird to erupt into flames, right at that exact moment when Grindelwald wants to convince Credence that he's a Dumbledore, seems a bit too convenient to me. Anyway, that brings us to the end of another video. What do you think? Could Credence's Phoenix be Albus's beloved and faithful Forks, or is it just another one of Grindelwald's elaborate illusions? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, memory is everything.